Welcome to my first video and this is going to be a painting video and I'm ready with my easel standing right here. This is made of aluminium and I recently bought it from Amazon and I got four canvases free with it and this is the biggest one I'm going to paint on today. The size of the canvas is approximately 18 by 24 and appropriately uh, 19 and a half by 23 and a half so let's start the video uh i'm just going to coat this canvas with gesso i bought basic acrylic gesso this is 473 ml and it costed me uh, 600 indian rupees and i'm going to apply a thin layer of gesso all over the canvas so let's begin please have a look at my dirtiest palette i never clean it i'm so lazy to clean it and i'm going to put gesso over here and start applying it on the canvas i've got some colors with my brush and it's leaving its mark therein but it's not a problem because I'm going to use some bright colors in my painting will definitely cover this up as you may see I'm too lazy to clean my things and after applying gesso I would let it dry I hate it when the bristles stick to the canvas This is how I'm going to apply this layer of gesso on my canvas. If you follow me on Instagram, I have a highlight there in which I have suggested some art tips based on personal observation. My Instagram handle is uh, at the rate Haris Aftab and Therein I have written the procedure in the art tips highlight of making gesso at home and I'm painting this time in the night hours because I don't want any sort of noise or something in my video. Gesso is uh, not that much important as far as I have read. It is not such important for uh, acrylic paintings but it's too much important for oil paintings because oil paints have corrosive nature they degrade your canvas with time and if you don't want your art to get spoiled with time you have you ought to apply gesso as you can see I'm heading towards the end and some paint from my canvas has come out and it got scattered over the canvas but it's not a problem I already told you that I'm going to use some bright colors and some extra dark colors in my painting and it won't be a problem for me guys uh, my canvas is dried and the surface is completely ready to paint and please excuse the lights because I told you I'm shooting during the night and I'm going to start with the red one and mix uh, the yellow color in between and I'm going to paint the sky with these two colors and the uh, area of land will be uh, painted in black color so let's start that I'm ready with my red paint and let's go up here on the canvas I'll add a bit of more water and let's start the painting then i have always avoided poster colors i always painted in oils this is how i'm doing my sky and this layer is i guess enough i, I don't use large brushes because i'm not comfortable with them i this is a one inch brush this is the maximum limit I go up to. Uh, 
now that you will see I started adding the uh, yellow color in my sky and I'm going to blend the colors adding a bit more Guys, this is what my sky is looking like right now. It has a pretty rough look, but uh, due to lights and the camera, it is appearing a bit smooth. Uh, so I'm running out of yellow color right now, and tomorrow I'll add the shades of yellow colors uh, therein, uh, right there. They are on the spots where it's lacking. And right now I have covered the lower portion with black and I'm going to leave it to dry completely till morning and until I buy the yellow color so this is how it's looking like a bit smooth in the video though not in actuality uh, this is one of my oldest paintings and I'm recreating this on canvas and I'm going to make one, two, three and four. Four trees in there. All all in black color. So here I am with my yellow and I have mixed a little of Bandak brown in there. And let's move to the painting. I hope this doesn't mess this up. You can also, uh, if you are not finding it easier to blend the colors on the canvas, make your brush go this way. Like you had to blend, blend with this part of your brush. And see how nicely it's turning out there. I'm blending it completely so that it gets a little bit smoother look. I have ants running on my palette. I don't clean it. I'm just trying to fill in and, and block the gaps and Almost done with our painting yellow. I'll undo this part with red color. And here I have add some bright yellow. Guys, this is the final look of my sky. This is looking a bit softer in camera as I already said. Uh, you can see I have blocked my sky with yellow and a mixture of yellow and bandai brown and simply blend it with the red and now i'm going to paint trees over it these are the two brushes i'm going to paint my trees with i'll draw the uh, trunk portion with this brush and branches with this i already covered it in black so here's my black color so it's ready to go my first tree will be placed here second here third here and fourth here the second and third tree amongst these four trees uh, I'll paint them a little bit shorter uh, to give an illusion that they are standing at the back and the first and the fourth are standing at the forefront.
I'm drawing the basic structure first. You have to get a little roll of paint on your brush, thin brush, and first you draw the trunk, and then you have to draw the branches that are a bit bigger in size, and at last you will draw the smaller ones. By the way, it's looking much better like this i don't want to draw smaller branches but i have to because this, this is the first one i painted it has a lot of smaller branches on there now it's time for painting the smaller ones there's a little mistake I didn't um, trying to cover it up by increasing the size of the branch. It is gone. And let's move back to the branches. When you paint, make sure your little finger and your ring finger are clean because you have to sometimes place them on the new canvas like this to paint something and make sure they are clean on the outer side and you don't smudge your canvas. Guys, this is the final look of my painting and I have added three birds, one there and two there in my painting and you can see its final look as I go horizontal. This is the final look of my painting.